Are we on day four? Oh. <laughs> Hello, everyone watching this live. Welcome to day four of 30 Cuisines in 30 Days. This is day four, you guys. We're already on day four. I can't believe it. Um, so today I am traveling to the beautiful country of Myanmar with Burmese cuisine. And I've ordered from Ma Sabai's kitchen. So it looks really good and I'm excited to eat today. For those of you just tuning in for the first time, we are doing this live lunch show for 30 days. I'm Tara, I'm your host, and I'm here in my apartment in Bangkok, Thailand. And I am going to be eating a different cuisine every day for 30 days. So follow along with me, watch as I, you know, eat lots of food and enjoy delicious cuisines from different cultures um, from the comfort of my own home. And if you want to join the challenge, then try something new from a different cuisine one day, you know, and tell me what you're trying. So comment, tell me what you're having for lunch today, where are you tuning in from, what do you want to see me eating, what culture and cuisine do you love, and if you have any recommendations for me, then let me know. Okay, so let's start with um, just telling you a little bit about what I've ordered today. So I ordered from Masabai's Kitchen, which is kind of like down home soul food from Myanmar, um, very homey style, and yeah, there's a lot of different options. And what I have today is tea. I have Myanmar tea here. Just open it up. Oh, it's actually in a bag. It's really hot. Let's get it out of there. It's a bag of tea. So it's, yep, yeah, still very hot. Um, let me just pour that into a nice glass here. Mmm, Coconuts TV commenting, we hope this Burmese food is up to your standards. I have a feeling it will be. I think it will be. It looks really good. Um, it came nice and hot and fresh looking. And, you know, I'm really hungry. And I really love food, so standards? How high are they? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, pouring the tea into, oops, make sure that's visible for everyone. Just pouring the tea into this lovely glass. Ooh, it's almost overflowing. Okay, I'll have to take a few sips of that before I pour the rest in. But here's the tea. Mmm, smells really good. Milky smells like, um, like a kind of, um, yeah, condensed milk and maybe like a carnation, kind of carnation milk. No, oh, Earthling says Amber Mees. Good vibes, thank you, Earthling. Mingalaba, I should say. Mmm, the tea is really yummy. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. It's, um, yeah, it has a very milky, creamy flavor, and it reminds me of Indian tea, chai. <laughs> Julianne says, spill that tea, girl. <laughs> um, yeah, it reminds me of Indian tea. It has that spices of, like, cardamom, um, cardamom, and, like, a little bit of cinnamony, kind of peppery. But it's more mild. It's definitely mild and sweet and almost has like a little saltiness, which is really yummy. Roger Agueta says, it's 11 p.m. here, had taquitos, never had Burmese. Mm, you had taquitos at 11 p.m.? Yummy. That sounds like a good late night food. Okay, well you never had Burmese, so let's see what this is and maybe you'll enjoy it. Julianne has a comment, I've never had Burmese food before, so I am here to learn. Okay. Well, I have had Burmese food before. I have not had Burmese food from this restaurant, but I've had Burmese food quite a few times since I'm here in Bangkok, you know, Burma, Myanmar is our neighbor. So there's a lot of influences here and kind of like melding of Thai and 
um, Burmese cuisine for sure. Um, I really like this next dish, which I ordered. It is tea leaf salad. So let me unbox that for you and put it in another plate. Um, oh yeah, and just to remind you guys, I'll be rating our dishes and rating my whole lunch at the end. So stay around for that. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed to Coconuts TV and click the bell icon so you'll be alerted to all of my daily delicious eats. Um, okay, so for this tea leaf salad, La Petoc, Ujagdish Gill says, I had amazing Burmese food in San Francisco out of all places. Wow, cool, that's really interesting. So Burmese food, I guess it's kind of taking over the world a little bit, becoming more of a global cuisine. Um, that's really interesting because I think it's still pretty eclectic for most people in the world who are not in Southeast Asia or near Burma, Myanmar. Um, okay, so let me just tell you a little bit about what's in this tea leaf salad. Oh yeah, Jack Dishigil. And yes, tea leaf salad was a maze. Okay, I think this is really a classic dish. When you think of Burmese cuisine, tea leaf salad is a very typical thing that comes to mind. So they, there's tea leaves in here. I'm gonna get my fork and spoon out so I can show you a little bit. Ooh, Diane Perun says, yes, love a good tea leaf salad, AKA Tara leaf salad. Mm, I do too. Okay, there's tomatoes, there's chili, chopped up chili, there's um, little crunchy um, crunchy soybeans, like fried soybeans. Ooh, Stolen Rabbit says tea leaf salad looks yum. It does look really yum. I think I'm gonna keep it in this nice bowl actually because you can really see really well what is going on here with this bowl um, rather than putting it into another one of my bowls at home. And I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit so you can see all this yummy goodness. There's, ooh, there's, what else is in here? There's cabbage, um, there's tea leaves, of course. There's these deep fried soybeans and um, deep fried um, broad beans, I believe they are. And tomatoes, peanuts, uh, chilies, lots of chilies. I think this is gonna be spicy. Okay, now, almost forgetting these two little condiments that came with the tea leaf salad, so. This condiment, let's see. Does it go with the tea leaf salad or does it go with this next dish? Let me just tell you a little bit more about my other dish that I got. This is um, tamin ne, chicken tamin ne. So tamin is rice. You know, I think this goes with this other, this dish. These two condiments go with this. That's what I think. Um, because this is a rice dish it's kind of like a fried rice almost with chicken and some veggies. And I think you kind of mix it up together with these two things that came, which are like a fishy, oh, this is definitely like a fermented fish kind of paste in here. It's very dark, it smells very salty. Okay, I'm going all out of order now, but I just have to taste this fermented fish thing. Okay, it's doesn't, it's not as strong as it tastes. Or as it smells, rather. Okay, that is gonna be added here. And then the other thing that I have to add to the tamine is deep fried, um, deep fried, <laughs> something deep fried. This is also a little deep fried fish, I think. I think it has a bit of like deep fried like pork floss, deep fried shallots, and little tiny crispy deep fried fish. Earthling, are you there? Do you know? Do you know what I'm eating here? And do you want to tell me a little bit more about what I'm eating? I think I'm gonna add these to the tamine. That's what I think. Let's give let's give Earthling a little a little time to respond if you want to tell me about it. And I'll just introduce you guys to the last dish that I that I ordered today. Okay, the last dish that I ordered, I'm going to put it on a plate so you can see. What 
is Baya, I think it's pronounced Baya Cha, but it's spelled, like I would kind of say Baya Kya, but it's fried pea fritters, which look kind of like a pakora, like an Indian pakora, if you know that, or like little mm, KFC popcorn chicken, but it's not chicken, it's a split pea. So it's actually vegetarian and it comes with this chili sauce. Okay, so far I have only tasted the tea. So let me just dig in with a couple of bites first. Coconuts TV says earthly. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna mix the tea leaf salad around a little bit to just kind of get, it has this like yummy, oily salad dressing that is just all over it. So it's been mixed already a little bit, but let's mix it up again. Let's have a big bite. Okay, I'm gonna get a nice bite of, of tea leaves, of crispy nuts, and you can see of cabbage. The tea leaf is like this dark green part of it here. It's really yummy. I have had this before, so but let's try their version. Hmm. That chili. It's spicy. It's really good. I immediately just want to go in for a second bite because it's so tasty. It's a salad, but it's like packed with flavor. So if you're ever looking for something light, and this is a great way to have like a whole meal, but you don't have, you don't really need rice or anything. <laughs> Hi, Sunana Quattro. Tea leaf salad looks delicious, she says. Keep commenting, guys, and tell me what you think about today's lunch. Okay, one more bite and I'm gonna move on and try the next thing. Nice bite of tomato, cabbage, tea leaf, yummy. Hmm. Coconuts TV for reminding me that there is a lot of a lot of caffeine in tea leaf. That is true. It is real tea leaves. It is really a, um, tea leaves that you would use to brew tea as a drink, which are in the salad. So there's definitely caffeine in there. So if I ate this entire salad, I might be like a little wired or ready to work hard this afternoon. A little different than yesterday's situation where I had a whole beer with a giant Vienna schnitzel. So it's pretty different. Um, on that note, if you're just tuning in, this is 30 Cuisines in 30 Days with me, Tara, your host, here in Bangkok, trying a different cuisine every day for 30 days. And this is day four. Just day four. It's only day four. There's 26 more days to go. Okay. Did we have any confirmation from Earthling? who is from, who is Burmese, she said, if I'm supposed to put this in here. I don't think there's any confirmation, so I think I'm just gonna, just gonna do it. Um, now, if I'm comparing to Thai dishes, I don't know, I feel like the tea leaf salad can't really compare to any Thai dishes because we don't really have, I mean, maybe like a som tham, like a Thai papaya salad in a way because the concept is kind of similar of like a spicy, savory salad with like a lot of different flavors coming together in one. But Somtham does not have tea leaves. Of course, it has papaya, raw papaya, um, but it does have chili and it is very yummy. So they have those things in common. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this, these little yummy condiments into the tamine. Let's try it out. I'm really learning a lot about different cuisines already. Seriously, in just four days, it's crazy. Roger says, Arg, I missed two meals, two days. <laughs> well, you can go back and watch, don't worry. You can't live comment if you're gonna go back and watch the older ones, but you can comment like normal on YouTube. Coconut City asks, how about coca leaf salad? 
That would be a new one. Would that be a salad made in Colombia, perhaps? Okay, let's take a bite of this rice. Whoops. I'm gonna hold it up and show you guys this yummy food as I take a bite. So there's like definitely like a fried rice element to this. There's pieces of chicken that look like they've been cooked and stewed with the rice, kind of like a biryani almost. Um, let me just taste this. Getting some other sounds going here. Okay, let's take a bite. Mmm. Really, really good. It's like salty with a little bit of spice. The chicken is cooked really well. It's very flavorful. Tamin ne, tamin is rice. So this is like a chicken rice, Myanmar style. Um, it's really yummy. Hmm. It's almost like a curry kind of flavor. It reminds me a bit of like a biryani. It's definitely the kind of thing you can just like eat the entire thing. It's really yummy. Jack Dish Gills has apparently given their proximity to India. Burmese food has some similarities. I think you are spot on on that, Jack Dish Gill, because I see a lot of similarities with Indian food. Um, the little fritters are kind of like pakora. Get back here there going off camera. The tea is kind of like Indian chai, chai means tea, so please do not order masala chai tea, you're ordering masala tea tea. And this is kind of like an Indian curry, chicken curry slash biryani. Mm. And just like for Thai dishes, like we have cucumbers. So a Thai chicken rice also has cucumbers to go with it. Mmm, so good. And the, the condiments, which are like a kind of fermented fish taste and like a, um, like a deep fried little shallots and, and different things, different deep fried yummy things. It really goes, it really brings out the flavor. Mmm. Let's see the chicken, I think. The chicken seems to be like it's definitely cooked like on the bone, I would say, and then like torn off. And it's really like just so soft and moist and um, juicy. And you can see it's like in shreds, kind of like shredded pieces of chicken just mixed in with the rice. So I think it gets that really good flavor because it's cooked on the bone. And it's cooked over a long time, either with the rice maybe, or maybe in like a curry simmered and then mixed into the rice. So if anyone knows, then please tell me, because this is so yummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chicken is just mixed throughout the rice here. And it's this is a really generous portion too, I'd say. It's a very generous portion of this. Okay, I have to tear myself away from this because it's really yummy. I'll get back to you, don't worry. Let's try one of these bad boys. Coconuts TV says, looks amazing. Who wants this dish? Who wants this dish? Me, I do. Okay, let's dip in this baya cha and try it. Hmm. Interesting. A little bit dry, like, you definitely need the sauce. But very tasty. Now this, um, let me open one up for you guys to see. Roger, Roger, <laughs> excuse me, Roger says, I do, but the delivery fee to Los Angeles may be too high. Hmm, I wonder if there's good Burmese food in Los Angeles, Roger. You should check it out. Okay, this is the inside of these little split pea fritters. So split pea, is that kind of like a lentil? 
think, kind of like a lentil. So dipping in this hot sauce, tasting the hot sauce on its own. This is investigative journalism right here, you guys. Okay, I think it tastes like sriracha or sriracha, which people say, but here there's actually a province called sriracha, so we call it sriracha. Um, yeah, where was I going with this? I'm going off on a tangent, but it's like a spicy chili sriracha based sauce, which I think they kind of mix up on their own because it's definitely not just plain sriracha sauce. Really good. And you can just dunk these in there as if they're like donut holes. You should eat the whole bag of them. They're very dense. They're very, um, they're dense. They're like kind of almost like cakey and thick in a way. Oh, I have a comment from Navraj Pogar. Going to learn a lot from these 30 days. I am too. I am too. So stick with me and learn along with me. Hmm. Okay. These are really good. I would say. They're definitely like a little snack to have a couple with your meal. I don't know if I'm gonna eat this entire plate. I think I'd be really full because they're really like dense, you know, filled with that split pea goodness. They're not like, they're not too like floury. They're really like dense. You're getting your veggies in there. Your pea protein is in there. Okay, and Julianne Greco says, whoa, mind blown. Didn't know that's how to say sriracha or sriracha. It's not sriracha, it's sriracha. Okay. Oh, that was this moving. This is, that was the squeaking and telling me to eat more of it. Okay. So guys, tell me in the comments what, any other cuisines you think I should try these days? What do you think? I'm gonna add a little bit more of this into the rice. Add a little bit more of this. See if I could describe the flavor better. It's definitely fermented fish paste mixed with like green veggies um, and maybe some like garlic onions. Yeah, it's mostly like a green veggie. And we love our green veggies, okay? Okay, let me take one more bite with extra green veggies. Rice and chicken. Mmm. Very good. Let me adjust everything so you can see everything here. This is the tea. I'm going to have a sip of tea and just see how it goes now that I've tasted everything. Mm. It's really nice to have a little um, bit of sweetness after I'm having kind of the salty, spicy flavors of the meal. Um, yeah, I wanted to try a really authentic Burmese meal today and I did ask the restaurant they said this is a good selection of what what you would say is a authentic Burmese cuisine so um yeah I'm really happy with what I ordered today but stick around to the end of the video and I will be giving a rating to everything um in just a little bit but first um just a reminder this is day four of 30 cuisines day four day four of 30 cuisines in 30 days with me Tara from my apartment here in Bangkok um, just because we're stuck at home or socially distanced doesn't mean our taste buds have to be socially distanced from delicious food around the world. We can order food, you can try new recipes, you can cook, you can order food, you can get someone to make food for you at home if you live with someone who is a good cook. Um, but I will be ordering from different restaurants all over Bangkok for these 30 days. So. You can always tell me in the comments, where should I order from? What new cuisine should I try? And each day will represent different cuisine, a different culture, usually a different country or region. 
And this is day four with Burmese cuisine. Before that we had, yesterday we had German food. The day before that we had Japanese. And our first day was a fusion, kind of a cheating day to do a fusion of Mexican and Indian food. Okay, Coconuts TV reminding us that the restaurant is called Masabai's Kitchen. Thanks, Coconuts TV. Mmm. Oh, there's another chili in that bite. This is really spicy, you know, if you eat the chilies. It's like eating, I think it's like pikinu, uh, like a Thai um, bird's eye chili. Like when you bite into it, it's like really, really spicy. <laughs> like right in that spot in your mouth where you bit into it. Yeah, eat a tomato to wash it down. Oh my God, can you see me like sweating? <coughs> That's pretty spicy. Okay, that calls for a sip of tea. <coughs> ah, the tea is hot, making it worse. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna have to glug down that whole tea if I keep eating the chilies in here. Um, you can't see how much chili is in there. The chilies are green. So basically everywhere you see green, oh, except for this one stray soybean, everywhere you see green, it's a chili. So basically every bite is gonna have <coughs> chili in it, which I can totally handle and I'm really good at eating spicy food. Just kidding. We have a comment up here from Bim Shanmugam. I like my food like my women, hot and spicy. How about your women drenched in sweat and dying of uh, dying of spice? <laughs> no, no, it's really good, really yummy. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go around and give a little recap and rating of everything I ordered. I'm so good though, I want to keep eating. So yummy, okay. The chili, it's like, it's like a love-hate relationship with chili, you know? Like, I love it because it goes so well. It's like that little bitter burst of like spice and flavor is like so necessary. But at the same time, it's a little, a little spicy, a little hot. Oh my God, you know what? This is totally a live show, you guys. I forgot to put in my microphone. Let me just stick that in. Okay. Is that improving the sound quality? A little bit? Uh, yeah, this is a live show. This is a live show that I'm filming by myself in my apartment and I hear my cat meowing on the balcony but she's locked out there she's not going to interrupt this time um yeah so what you see is what you get okay so today I ordered from Masabai's kitchen I just ordered from um, online talking to them is really easy they're really responsive which is great um they were really happy to um Bim Shanmugam says, I'm so worried for the glass of tea. Was I about to spill that? I didn't even notice. Was I about to really spill some tea? Like literally spill some tea? Do I know my right and left? Okay, I'm moving it so you can see the glass of tea and it's a little bit away from what is blocked by our show logo. Must strategically move everything into place. Okay, there. So. The restaurant was super responsive. They helped me choose my dishes. I think sometimes I don't really know what to order. And if I ask my husband, he's just like, I don't know, just order whatever, just get me one. But I wanna know like, what should I eat? Like, 
what is a good representation of this cuisine is what I was wondering today. And sometimes I just want to know, like, what's your best thing? What's yummy? So I like it when restaurants are really, like, you can kind of chat with them and um, find out what they think. So, yeah, they, they suggested, I said I wanted this, and they were like, yeah, that's good. Good order. And I think they were right. I, I wish I knew exactly where to put these two delicious condiments, but I think I figured it out. I think I was correct in adding them to this rice dish, with it, which is tamen ne, because they tasted really, really good in it. So... Even if I'm wrong, you know, there's no losers here. <laughs> Cue the funny comments. Okay, I set it up for you guys. Okay, la pet toque, which is tea leaf salad. It's my other dish. And baya cha, am I saying it right? Or baya, baya cha, which is split pea fritters. Um, little deep fried balls of joy with some spicy, Bit of sweetness, soy sauce, oh, soy sauce? No, no, hot sauce, hot sauce. And tea, Myanmar milk tea, made with condensed milk, I think a little bit of um, like carnation milk, which is so good. It's like a real treat to have something like that's a little bit high in calories. It goes really well with the meal. Super yummy. So I think I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give the tea leaf salad definitely, I think I have to give this a four out of five because as far as tea leaf salads I go, I, which I have tried um, go, I think it's definitely up there at the top. Um, the rice, I just wanna give this a five out of five. It's so good. I could eat this whole bowl. Um, all the flavors, salty, spicy, perfectly cooked chicken, some like, crunchy fresh veggies so good um yeah like a curry kind of flavor garlicky oniony everything you would want from like a spicy chicken rice dish with these added flavors which are really just like took it up a notch with like like fishy flavors and and like deep fried like kind of i think this comes from pork like pork floss Nice little close-up. Someone tell me I'm wrong. Come on, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me what is really in here. But the flavors are just so good. And I love the, like, fermented, really strong fishy flavors. I do. I know. I like strong, weird flavors. Well, weird to some people. And then pakoras, I think I'll give it... I think I might give these a three and a half out of five because they are really yummy. I do like them. Oh, Princess Sejani. My favorite, La Peto. La Pateau or Toke? La Pateau. Love this. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna give this a three, three, point, three and a half out of five. I could do the half points. Um, it is really yummy. Definitely recommend it if you're sharing. It's a little bit much, a little dense for me. And you really gotta drown them in the sauce to get that like moist bite. Um, which isn't a bad thing though. I just, you know, I gotta be a little tough here. You know, I gotta be a little, I have to stand my ground a little bit. I can't give everyone a five out of five, even though I really want to. But it's, everything was so good. I think overall, it's definitely getting like a four and a half out of five overall, because everything was great. They gave a couple little napkins, which I don't know if you can tell, but I am sweating a lot from eating that spicy lapa toque. I'm sweating. Okay, so another shout out to our show. <laughs> so if you're just tuning in now, well, we're almost done. So why the hell are you tuning in now? Um, that's okay. Just please subscribe, click the bell icon. Once you click the bell icon, you will be notified with an alert on your YouTube app. Uh, Chef Ton Ton says, wow, it's nice. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for watching. Don't thank me. Coconut TV says, probably the caffeine from the tea leaf too. Oh my God, yeah. Actually, I actually have not been having caffeine for like a really long time. And I, I, I stopped my morning coffee and everything. So this is like, I'm like ready to work now. 
let's make some more live stream shows. Ah, just kidding. Just kidding. Um, okay, where was I? Yeah, so subscribe, click the bell. The bell will make sure that you are alerted when we're going live, when we have new videos um, on Coconuts TV. We have, we have a bunch of other live shows, which I'm sure I will tell you about. And so, yeah, I think this was day four. This is really day four. So please um, also share, share this video with your friends. Everyone who's watching now, just share it with one person. Please spread the love. If we don't get more people watching, then I'm afraid that my boss might extend it to 60 cuisines in 60 days, <laughs> which wouldn't be so bad. Okay, Coconuts TV says getting amped. Okay, guys, Roger says, this is fun. I can't wait to see what else you enjoy. I'm craving that tea. It's so good. It's like a sweet tea, but not too sweet. Like, I will definitely drink all of this and eat all of this after the cameras are off. Um, okay, so yeah, share, comment on the videos. You can go back and comment on days one, two, three, and this video after it's up, you know, telling me what you want me to try, what cuisines you love. Give me a suggestion of a restaurant to order from in Bangkok. Um, tell me what your favorite cuisine is. Tell me what you've been doing to feed yourself while you're at home during quarantine time or circuit breaker if you're in Singapore. Have you been cooking? Have you been ordering more? Have you been ordering to try to help your local restaurants? Or have you just been making tons and tons of banana bread and, and realizing you have to eat it all yourself? Tell me in the comments. Okay, um, I think that's all from me today. So subscribe, like, share, ring the bell, and we will see you next time, same place, my kitchen, same time, 1 p.m. in Bangkok, 2 p.m. if you're in Singapore. And yeah, that'll be tomorrow, day five. So join me then. Okay, bye.